Mary is opening up a weekend series against Milwaukee with a double header this Friday evening. We pick it up in game one. Third inning is scoreless until Ernie Ordonez blasts a three run bomb into the parking lot, giving the Sioux Falls the lead, and they would only build on it from there. In the fifth inning, USF alum Josh Raywalt. Strong, long, and plenty gone. You might as well just give him the MVP, American Association. It's 5 to nothing. Finally, in the sixth inning, Ordonia is up with the bases loaded. He doesn't leave the yard, but this is pretty much the next best thing. A bases clearing double, making it 9 to nothing. That was plenty for Neil Lang, who went all seven innings. Remember, they only do seven inning games in these double headers. He strikes out six and only allows three hits. Canaries roll 10 to nothing for the victory in game number one. Now, a little bit of a change in game number two. Sioux Falls wore Area 51 uniforms and were the Minnehaha Martians for one night only. I would have changed all the lettering and logos, but I don't quite have all that. Uh, Milwaukee, a little bit of a change as well. They finally got on the board in game number two. Adiel Lair with the RBI single. A few batters later, it's John Taylor adding to that as the Milkmen deliver to take a 2-0 lead. Martians would finally get on the board, though, in the third inning. Jabari Henry with an RBI single that goes all the way to the wall. Long single, ties things up at two apiece. And the Birds would go on to win this one three to two thanks to an RBI walk with the bases loaded late in this game. They sweep that doubleheader series.